Hello. I'm trying this for the first time with the now just newer camera. So we're doing a declutter. Yay. It's spring cleaning. Yay. I'm starting out with highlighters and bronzers. Yay. I don't know why I'm starting with that, but other than just the fact that I have way too freaking many for one person to use, you think, oh, that's a lot. That's not all. I have all of these palettes that have either, or they either are, you know, the highlight palettes particularly, or a couple of contour palettes, or they just contain enough highlight and contour in them that I pulled them out for this. We also have a handful of cream highlighters floating over here, some more back here, and another whole bag of stuff. So yeah, it's time to declutter. In theory, I would like for everything to fit in this, but I don't like giving myself numbers because I think people, when people do that, they wind up decluttering things that they just wind up buying again. So. It's not about numbers. It's not even really about space. It's just the fact that this has to go down. And for this, I mean like my singles. My palettes go on the top of my vanity. Now, once I declutter everything, I actually really want to show you guys how I store my makeup. I've never done that before because it's usually a mess because I have too much stuff. So we're going to declutter and then either I'm going to load it onto the Geeks and, Geeks and Beauty swap site where we swap makeup back and forth. If you join Geeks and Beauties, you can join that if you want some of this. Uh, I might sell it on my Instagram account if it's, you know, kind of nicer stuff. I might pass some of it on to my sister if I think it will really work for her. She and I swap makeup back and forth sometimes. And there's probably gonna at least be one thing that I throw away. I think I already know what it is. So first, I'm gonna start with palettes. Then I'm gonna start with creams for highlights. And then we're just gonna go from there. So first, for a palette, but I had it stored with my singles, but we'll figure it out. This is the uh, Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. Now this is admittedly really good. It's, you know, really high quality. So for now, we're gonna keep it. This might change. I also, that is my dog knocking over a controller to the TV. Sorry about that. But uh, if I keep this though, like if I keep it throughout, I'm gonna depot it because I hate this packaging. You can't like you can't even open it up all the way without the thing flopping. I do like the brush that comes in it, but so I can just you know keep the brush and get rid of this bulky ass packaging. Next is the Pure Bronze and Brighten palette. Now some of these palettes are gonna have blushes in them, but like I said, I got them over here because I just wanted to deal with that in the highlight and bronzer category because next is going to be blush and that is a whole other nightmare and I have just purely blush palettes. So for now I did really like this when I tried it out. I'm going to set it to the side though because if I have enough highlights that look like this I don't have many blushes that look like this so it's already got a point in its advantage but if I have enough highlights that look like this I might consider decluttering this anyway. So for now we have two maybes. You know what, let's pull out two, yes, I'm keeping these. Actually three, but one's not here because it's in my stuff I haven't tried out yet for like next month's makeup basket. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette. I found it at TJ Maxx. I have been wanting it forever, but I just never pulled the plug. Not pulled the plug, pulled the trigger. I swear I speak English as a first language, guys. But uh, And then it came up at TJ Maxx for 25 bucks, and I was like, I'm gonna go to my TJ Maxx. If it's there, I'm gonna pick it up. If it's not, I'm not gonna worry about it. Well, it was there, so I picked it up. But actually, let me go get that. I have the Aurora, I have the Moonchild, and I now also have this Naked Cosmetics Prismatic Highlighting Palette. I love prismatic highlighters. I love like the odd colored highlight. I really do. But I think definitely between the three of these, I can probably get rid of all my singles. So we're going to, I'm keeping these. These are staying in my collection. I'm going to set these to the side so that when I hit my singles, I can pull it out and swatch and hopefully use these three highlighting palettes, which I will show to you as best I can. That's my moonshot. As you can see, like the green, I have dug into the green. I use that a lot. And like I said, the Aurora is brand new. I've only swatched it, but 
you would think this is super dark, but it's not. But I'll show you that in a little bit. But uh, between these three, I should have every odd colored highlight that I should ever need. We're just gonna set these over there. Next palette, uh, I got this Christmas thing from Sleek Makeup where it was a, it was a blush palette, a highlighter palette, and an eyeshadow palette. And this is the highlighter palette. So it has one cream that I'm not sticking my finger in. This is the three um, powders and the one cream. I hate that they're packaged together. I should have cleaned my hand before I did this. But, uh, they are really pretty. I cannot use that dark one. Is that the, they, uh, that's the cream. I cannot use that as a highlight. I could, in theory, use it as a blush. Where are those wipes that I brought over specifically for this that I have now freaking lost? So probably another maybe, I don't know. I really like that purple. I have three palettes that have purple in it. Let me swatch. Okay, so we have this purple in Spectra. That is definitely not the same, but that is the Spectra right there. We have a purple, no, at least one purple in here. Purple horseshoe, okay. Okay, that's more blue. Wait a minute. I know this says blue moon, but let's check it just in case. No, that's definitely not like it either. And we have a purple in the Naked Cosmetics palette. Is, is that even the right thing that I'm looking at? not even purple. That's silver. Okay, we can let this go. It's a good formula, but I can't use the cream, and the one thing that I was holding on to it for is not as purple as I thought. I have much more purple highlights. So, one gone. Alright, uh, another thing that I know can go, and I'm gonna throw it away because it's, it's defective, is this flower trio. I don't even know if they make it anymore, and Soon as I brought it home, I did not drop it. The damn thing fell out. The br bronzer fell out. So I've never wanted to use it since then. I've been mad at it. I know I have a highlight and a blush that looks like this. I just wanted to try one from Flower Beauty, but we're just gonna throw this away because something is wrong. The powders are too soft. They cannot be dealt with. I have this palette. This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette that is technically a blush palette, but it does have a highlight and a bronzer. I actually kind of want to pan this at some point. Let me at least swatch the... Yeah. That is dark. Okay, it's up here on my arm because I can't find my wipes right now. I probably left them on the couch. I don't know. That is dark. I didn't realize how dark that was. I can't use that as a highlight. Well, I could if I go really light on it. Oh, I'm terrible at this. I don't know. Because I like the blushes in here and I like the bronzer. You know, if I like five out of six, that's fine. I can still keep it, but we want to figure out something about that blush. I'm actually doing fairly decent with palettes. I mean, I have two. I already have two. Now, two things that I pulled because they contain uh, blushes and actually these are both highlights in them is why I pulled them that aren't going anywhere. Maybe not so good. Uh, well, this has a bronzer too, and I hate the bronzer in here, but I like literally everything else. So once again, this is in the balm of your hand. This is the first volume. I didn't get the second volume because it had a lot of repeats. Like it had the same highlight and bronzer in there and it didn't have the cheek and lip colors, but instead of adding more stuff, they just made the packaging bigger, like not even the pants, the packaging. So, uh, I do, I will use this as a crease color, the Bahama Mama, because in this palette it has, you know, the eyeshadows, the blushes, and the highlight. This is great for traveling, and I do travel with it fairly regularly. So we will be keeping this. And this is my Carly Bible. This will pop up again when I do my eyeshadows, but for the record, it does have highlights. This I cannot use on my cheeks, but I do, I have used it as an eyeshadow in the past, and I do like it, but I can with differing amount of lightness of hand, use the rest of these as highlights. So I actually, this is probably one of my favorite nude 
like neutral, not nude, but neutral palettes. So she stays. And then I have these two contour products that I should get rid of one because I have a lot of contour powders as it is. And I like having one palette, but I don't need two. Like the, uh, the Anastasia thing at the TJ Maxx also had the contouring creams. And I skipped on that because I already have so damn many contouring products. Now, if you want a cheap contouring product that is still really nice, get this. It is the LA Colors I Heart Makeup Contour Palette. Uh, I found this at the Family Dollar or Dollar General one. I meant to do a video on this ages ago when I got it, but that time came and went. These are really nice colors. This is a nice for this is a nice this is a decent variety of shades. I think this could work with light to fair to light to medium skin tones. This is obviously not going to work for deep skin tones, but if you want something that's really cheap, because this was either six or eight bucks and you want like the variety of shades, get this because they are nice and smooth. They are pigmented and they blend very nicely. I am going to let this go though, because like I said, I want to get rid of one of these. And I honestly, if I'm ever gonna pan one, I'd rather pan one with six shades than eight. And this one also works really for me. This is the Itty Beauty Highlight and Contour Palette. I got this from BoxyCharm. This is one of my first, this might've been my first bag, I'm not sure. But the highlights are really nice. The, they work as, you know, under eye setting powders and the contours are really nice. This one is really good if you need like a cool toned one. But uh, yeah, so I will keep this one, but I'm going to let go of this one and not because of the quality, but because I need to let go of one. <laughs> and like I said, if I, the pans are almost the same size. So if I'm gonna pan, eventually pan one, I'd rather pan a smaller one. There. So now let's do creams. Here we have all of my creams. I have too many, but we'll get to that. But uh, first, I forgot a duo that I'm gonna count as a palette for reasons. But uh, this is the Vintage by Jessica Liebskin highlighting palette. I do really like both of these. This one I have to go in with a light hand, but I really like the pinker one. Let me dig in a swatch for you. There they are. See, that golden one is lighter than it looks. So uh, I will be keeping this. So I'm apparently keeping everything. I don't know, let's hope I can go to town on these creams. So first off, the two that I'm panning, I'm going to keep because I like them enough to pan them, are these two. I have the L'Oreal Infallible Galaxy Stick. I'm wearing it right now. You can't see me, but I'm wearing it right now. And the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Version in Moonstone that I am that I took the stopper out of. That's why you can actually like see progress in it. And I've been mixing into my foundation. So this will actually be done in like a month or two. Now, where do we start? Ugh, I don't know. All right, uh, actually, I think I'll start with this one because I haven't worn this as a highlight. I've been, I've worn this as an eyeshadow though. So I think I'm gonna move this to my cream eyeshadows. This is the cover at Cover FX Shimmering Veil and Amethyst. You can wear this as a highlight. And if it, it's a little ch on the chunky glittery side for a highlight for me, but I really liked it as an eyeshadow. So that's why it's going to move to that drawer. Well, I need to go find my makeup wipes. <sighs> I found them. I left them on the couch, just like I said, I probably did. I just filmed my Korean Beauty Project Pan update. So I had eyeliner on my hand as well, which was blocking a lot of swatching area. But now we're clean. I guess I should just start. Okay, well, let's do this like how I know people online do it. What would I absolutely purchase again first? Because right now I'm just staring at stuff going like, I don't know. Okay, I love these. Uh, I haven't bought a full size yet, but I've gone through multiples of these minis. This is the Banner Mirror Numerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun. I like these for mixing into my foundation during the summer when either my color does happen to change or I'm just... I happen to be panning a really light foundation at the moment and these work great for that. So they are staying. One of these days I will buy a full size when I can stop getting minis. So we will set those. Actually, I have a bag. You know what? I'm gonna throw everything into this big old bag that I'm keeping. All right. I know I would purchase this again. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It was in my favorites of 2017. It feels wonderful, it smells awesome, and it looks amazing. So I am going to keep that. 
I actually hope to pan this this year, not because I don't want it around, but because I want to wear it, <laughs> honestly. Like I wanna wear it, I wanna wear it every day, I might as well just pan it. Well, those are the two <laughs> that I know I would purchase again. All right, let's start with the pure liquid highlights, I guess, which is most of them. I'm running out of cream highlights and I really like a solid cream highlight, like a basic one to wear under anything. All right, so we will swatch these together and we will see what works. Here is a Temp 2 one. And that is what it looks like right there. And I probably, and I just used up a fourth of it in that swatch. So that would be really easy to pan as long as it doesn't look like it's separated or anything. So we'll see. Next to my list is this NYX Born to Glow. I guess I'll go in that kind of order. Ah, that's too much. Shoot. Try not to swear so we don't get demonetized. It'll probably happen anyway. Me swearing that is. That is a heavy ass swatch, but that is what it looks like. See, swearing right there. Here is another Temp 2. Now this is not made to go in their air sprayer thingy. This is actually made to be a liquid illuminator. And that is it right there. Oh God, this is gonna be so long. Here is the 17 Skin Wow three-way highlighter. They're all different. Crap. So I can't even go on that. And we have my big mamma jamma right here. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Prosecco Pop. I got this from BoxyCharm. Girl, if I'd have bought one of these, I'd have bought Moonstone or Moonlight or whatever it is. This is really thick. Like I know they are thick. It just caught me off guard because I haven't used this in a while. And that is straight up friggin' orange. I want to keep this because it's expensive. But holy Jesus, if I mix that into foundation, my foundation will be orange. And that's how I use these. I mix them into foundation to give them a little bit more of a glow. Shit. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to let this go. I need to let this go. It, it's not cute. <laughs> it's not cute. Because I know with a powder, I can just go with a light hand and I can make it work with blending. Lots of blending. Can I make this work with some blending? I mean, once it's blended out, it looks nice. Er, you know, no. Why am I waffling? Stop it. No more waffle. You're decluttering that. I'm sure I can pass that on to somebody with a deeper skin tone than mine. So basically anybody. All right. I guess I'm gonna keep the other ones. Cause A, they were all different and B, I can wear them all. Like this darker temp to one I can use to mix in with foundation. And I know I can go through this in like a month, so I'm not even worried about that. And it's not separated like I was worried it could be. It's called Pink Pearl, by the way. It is really pretty. But, uh, yeah, I know I can go through this because I've gone through one before. And I know I can go through this because it's basically just like the Dan Becca one. All right, let's do the couple of cream things that I have. I have the Benefit What's Up highlighter. This was such a nightmare to pan. I don't want to pan that again. We have the Hard Candy Highlight and Glow, Highlight and Contour Face Duo Stick that I did really like when I tested it out. I liked the contour anyway. The highlight is basically a damn concealer. And we have my NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick in the shade Lavender Lust. Honestly, I think I'm gonna get rid of the Benefit because this was a nightmare to pan when I panned it. And I don't want to do that again. I will be keeping the other. All right, I guess let's start busting out some powders first. Uh, I guess I'll do bronzers first because I have less of those. I could have sworn I had more bronzer than this. I feel like something's missing. All right, so I'm panning these two currently. This is the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. You've seen it a million times in my videos. It's staying because I'm going to finish it. I am panning the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. It is staying because I am literally almost done with it. I just repressed it. I'll probably hit pan again in a week. 
So that leaves us with five. And I either like these or I haven't tried them yet. Like the Bobbi Brown, I haven't tried. I want to try it before I decide anything on it. So that's dang. I know I like my Hula Bronzer. I mean, I've hit pan in it. What we will do though, is we will swatch. Because if these other three are pulling, they, the only thing that would is the Ciate, because the other two are shimmery. If that Ciate one pulls really close to the Hula one though, I will declutter the Ciate one, even though I'm pretty sure I could probably pan the damn thing. All right, that is staying. All right, Ciate. This is the Bamboo Bronzer in Star Island. I got this in an Ipsy bag last year. That's really light. Okay, that took like three swatches. You know what? I'm annoyed at that for taking so many swatches. I will declutter it. And it's really light. And you know what? I just bought the Benefit six pack with the mini blushes that has Hula Light. That I may not keep either because it's really, really light. <laughs> I'm not keeping the Hula Mini that came with it. I listed it on the My Swap site. But uh, anyways, next is the L'Oreal Glam Bronzer in light. We will swatch it. It is really nice. It is big. So if I ever, usually when I'm trying to use up a bronzer, I get the crazy idea to bronze my body and do that. So the other thing I have is the Annabelle Biggie Bronzer that uh, my friend Ashley sent to me. and just swirling them all together. That is what that looks like. You know what, honestly, I like them both. I'll just keep both. I know it's like, oh, you should get rid of one. Like I said, I'm not gonna get rid of anything that I'm just gonna wind up wanting back later. And I actually really like both of these, so they will stay. All right, let's go into the highlights. 